Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to use AI image generation OS. This is the Notion template I've built to help you manage your um, AI image generation project as well as your prompts for Dolly, Midjourney or if you have any other um, tools that accept uh, text prompts. This is where you can basically build those text prompts uh, properly. You can store it, manage it, uh, take it for later instead of um, you know, just recreating your prompts every single time. So let me show you how it's done. It's pretty simple. You have uh, two different databases. One is for projects, another one is for prompts. Uh, project will contain um, your overall projects that will result in one of one or two, you know, or many images that you are looking for. And the prompts is will be where we test different variations of the prompt. So how do we start? We start by creating a new um, entry in the project section. So this will be something random. Let's let's come up with a random scene. Um, it's going to be non on a luxury kitchen. I don't know. And we have a template called a new AI image project. What this template will does is once you click it, it will create a database view that will um, filter out all of the new uh, prompts that you will be creating just for this project. So let's see how it works. Uh, let's open this up in the full page and we'll create new AI image project. And as you can see, we have a database view and a few steps for us to follow. We'll get to them later. So. What we want to do is we want to start by creating a new entry and um, it's going to be our non on the luxury kitchen. Um, and we will go at our step one. Step one will be picking our art style. Now what does it mean? We will have an option to pick from the drop down or you can add your own styles as you wish. There is also a property called type, which is not necessarily a style, but the type of the illustration, whether you want it to be a paint and a render, you know, hand drawing, a pencil drawing, anything like this, you can pick from the um, uh, from the dropdown or you can add your own, it's up to you. Then we can control our colors and we can send our emotion that we want to present in the image. So let's start um, let's say by doing, um, I, I want this to be some kind of, you know, like ultra realistic uh, kitchen, um, kind of like chandeliers, gold uh, and everything like this. So let's, uh, let's go with maybe photorealistic type. Um, now I want a few, so I want it to be a 3D render, but I want to have a variation. So I will just duplicate it and I will create one for um, let's do digital art. And instead of photorealistic, I want it to be uh, maybe surrealism and hyperrealism. Let's combine those together and see what happens. For the photos, I want it to be something like uh, gold uh, and black. And let's keep this, I don't know, silver and uh, green. Uh, the emotion is going to be, um, let's keep this one open and let's fill this one with something like peaceful. Um, you can, uh, all, all of these are optional. You don't have to fill them in, but you can. So if you do fill them in, they will be included in your prompts. If you do not, they will be excluded in your prompts. Um, let's go to the step two and we will describe our subject. So our subject is going to be a nun. Not going to be non or luxury kitchen, it's just going to be our subject. That's what we're working with. It's going to be in both of the prompts and you can always modify it. You can say something like old nun. We'll do it just for the sake of the example. For the description, well, in fact, let's keep the subject simple and let's describe her here as an old and here we will describe her in robes. Uh, you can go crazy. You can uh, describe more, you know, explicitly. You can send, do something like in long, uh, white and black 
robes holding a cup right um, and we can do the action what, what does your subject do is your subject doing anything is he not doing anything at all um, we included holding a cup so this would be something that uh, might better fit in the action and for the um, the second one let's just say standing and or we can just keep it open uh, let's a let AI decide what it wants to do now let's define our scene where where is our scene located so this is a luxury kitchen in both of, both of these but um, I want to have two different lighting I want to have uh, something like a natural light from the window and I want to have candlelight in the second image lighting is very important it's uh, when you can control the light you can actually uh, change your scene drastically you can keep the same um, prompt but only change the light and, and you would be amazed how many different variations and how, how many completely different scenes you will be able to pull out of the uh, out of these image generation uh, models it's it's amazing so uh, play around with lighting is it's um, it will change the way you uh, create these images now the step number four it's parameters it's only for mid journey so far I haven't found um, dolly parameters that would uh, that I know exist or that would satisfy me and bring in cons bring like you know consistent results so I could call them my parameters but I know with mid journey you can set up your own and you can or and you can as well use predefined ones so um, for the first one let's let's have this one um, ch change an aspect ratio on this so aspect ratio will not be square but it will be a little more vertical three by four and I will also make this high quality which is uh, dash dash Q space 2 um, and I will stylize it heavily so I will do dash dash s for styling and I will put something like 2500 for the second one um, I would say let's keep it open but I might add HD parameter here um, note that when I do dash dash it kind of changes it to I mean when I do have hyphen hyphen it changes it to dash so um, this is not what mid journey will accept so you kind of have to do control Z and change it back to just two hyphens so once we set these uh, we have both of our prompts ready and we can start testing them so you go to step 5 and we have two uh, columns here with our final prompts one is for mid journey all you have to do is just copy and paste it one is for dolly the same story you just copy and paste it to dolly I will start and I will paste both prompts in mid journey because it takes a little bit longer and then we will move to dolly and we will review all of our um, results so let's start with mid journey I will just grab this prompt and I will insert it straight into uh, mid journey bot number one and I will do the same for number two mid journey takes a little bit longer to create these images so uh, let's move to dolly and let's create both of those prompts as well here goes our prompt number one here goes our prompt number two also notice that you can see the dolly characters counter it, ha it accepts 400 max characters so um, you will see when you went above the limit um, okay, I like it so far. We will review it later. Let's first create our second render. I mean our second uh, batch of images um, Once you have these images ready you will be able to kind of uh, read them how well they match the description so if you working with a large batch of variations you will be able to kind of see which um, whether it's Dolly or whether it's Mid Journey that performs better for you, which you want to stick with, um, you never know what gives you the better results. Okay, so let's see what we have. Uh, Mid Journey is still processing, but let's see what Dolly brought us. The prompt number one, step one, 
we defined it's going to be a photorealistic 3D render, golden black. Um, it's going to be a non long white and black robes holding a cup in a luxury kitchen, natural light from the window. Well, this is pretty accurate. This is kind of what we were hoping for. You can see the uh, uh, the natural light, you can see the window. I wouldn't call it luxury, but it's definitely a kitchen. Um, this is as well just great. I like it. I wouldn't call it the luxury setup though. This is not kind of accurate, but all of these nuns, um, although they have creepy faces, they do exactly what we told them to. They stay in a kitchen under natural light, golden black, um, holding a cup, long white ropes. Um, I'm gonna go back to my step five and I will say that Molly matched the description I would say perfectly. Um, so let's see what my journey gave us. We have four different images and none of them have anything to do with the luxury kitchen. Um, so we will give my journey another, another chance. <coughs> In the meantime Let's review which image I like the most. I kind of like the last one most. So I will pick this image and I will move it to my results in the tool. So now we have it. I also like moving it here to the actual page. <coughs> So the second prompt that we did was a variation and that variation was surrealism, hyperrealism, digital art, silver and green, uh, old non luxury kitchen candlelight. And wow, I am beyond amazement of what I'm seeing here. This is definitely a beautiful kitchen. Uh, on the first, on the second one, this is definitely a non-shaped figure, I would say, in the third one. And I really like the scene on the fourth one. So I will upscale the image number four. And I think I will do some kind of variations of image number four to see what else can we get out of here. So the nun on the mid-journey wasn't really into the kitchen for some reason. He didn't really want to pick up the kitchen part on the first um, image. So let's see how Dolly performed. It's definitely a luxury kitchen. Candlelight. Um, I like the light and you see how you can control the light and it's, it's very it's very unique look and it's not bright. It's uh, I can't see the non anywhere other in maybe image number four. Um, this kind of looks like a non, but I would probably give it another shot and I would regenerate and see what else we can get out of this. Um, for this, for the mid journey, I'm not sure if I'm satisfied with these particular uh, results, but um, it's non nevertheless. Um, let's upscale the image number four. I think it's the most successful. It's kind of holding the cup, so. Um, although it's not the kitchen, uh, we kind of got what we wanted originally. What else? Let's see what else Dolly has for us. Um, this is probably the closest we can get to a nun on a kitchen. So I would say it, um, it rather didn't match this, the description for the second part. And, uh, I think I would pick this image if I were and I would move it to our tool to the second prompt uh, so now let's go back to the mid-journey and see see where we at so we are 84 percent upscaling our non on the luxury kitchen here uh, I really like how it's getting together this is at 55 59 percent ooh beautiful Yes, one of the one of these is definitely what I envisioned. Um, I think one of these will be the great success. This one is great, great, great as well. Um, cool. Let's just wait for it to happen. Let's just grab and save the image, um, and let's rate it in the meantime. So for the first non-holding a cup, I wasn't impressed by Mid Journey, 
It was a nun. Uh, it was Robert Gollers uh, holding a cup. Um, no kitchen though. I wanted to see more luxury kitchen that especially Midjourney can bring with you know uh, ultra realistic details. Uh, so I would say it rather didn't match the description. And the re the final result from this will be probably this nun. I would move. Um, I'll have to make sure it's on 100% first. This image is great. This is definitely something that I described, a luxury kitchen, and it created a beautiful, beautiful magical scenery of gold and black and um, uh, candlelight lighting. Um, gorgeous. This is, this is a great success. So I will definitely have this image in a second prompt. And I will have this image in a first prompt. So once you're done with that, um, you can move these images here as well. And there you have it. Now you can rate your results and you know get the idea which one you favorite better. Um, I can say I would pick out of these two, but I, I really like these this scene so I would say this is my favorite um, for the rating I this is five out of five for me and this I would call three out of five for both um, Dolly didn't really perform that well with this particular prompt um, it did a little bit better with the with the second one um, but mid journey uh, delivered awesome fantastic result on, on this beautiful scene and this is what I will use for the main uh, project. So here at the main project, I will move this as my final image. And I will also add it as a cover. Uh, let's download it first. And I will add this image here as a cover. So it, it shows up beautifully on our grid like this. And there you have it. You completed your project. And now you can go back to your overview. You can see your new project right here. You can access your prompts. You can see your all columns, you know, and um, let's say you want to add some kind of variation. You can always do it. You can always just duplicate one of these um, prompts and just change something. Maybe you want to change a style or maybe you want to change a scene, maybe your colors um, didn't work. So you can keep fine tuning your image further and further until you get the results you're actually were looking for in the first place. And um, this is how you use this AI image generation OS. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and peace.